you're spending five, six, or more hours each week on creating content for your blog, you want that time to be worth it. You don't want to put all this effort into creating a blog post only to have it die a slow and lonely death on your website with nobody reading it. Luckily, there are a few plugins out there that make it a lot easier. I'm Whitney Ryan, copywriter and content strategist, and in this video, I'll share with you the three plugins you need and one you definitely, definitely don't to get tons more mileage out of each blog post. I should start by saying that all of these plugins that I'm gonna talk about are WordPress specific. So if you're using a Squarespace or a Wix or something like that, sorry about it, but these are not going to apply to you. The first type of plugin that you want to get more mileage out of your blog posts is a social sharing plugin. So we really want to make it as easy as humanly, physically, spiritually possible for people to share your blog content. I personally really like the kind that hover um, on the side of your blog posts. So this is what I have on my blog. So if you're scrolling down, you're always going to see that social sharing bar on the right side of the screen, no matter what point of the post you are. And I like this so much because typically social sharing plugins you will see either at the top or the bottom of the post, sometimes both. Um, but I kind of want it to be there and available at the exact moment that somebody decides, hey, I like this, I wanna share this with my people. Um, I like it to be just right there so they don't even have to scroll, again, making it super, super easy for them. So the plugin that I use is the Monarch plugin. Um, I love it, highly recommend it, um, but it is also a paid plugin. So if you want a free version, Sumo Me is a great plugin that does basically the same thing. It has the bar on the side. It does have their branding. I, I wanna say it's a little crown at the top, um, but it's really not noticeable. This is actually, I used this on my old website and it was really great. Um, and it's a free option for you. It does the same thing. All people have to do is just click um, and they can instantly share it. So that is the first thing you definitely want to have on your blog post. The second type of plugin you want to have on your blog post, just to get some more bang for your blogging buck, is an SEO plugin. There are some really simple plugins that with just a few clicks and just a few minutes of your time, you can really increase your SEO juice for your blog posts. The one that I like and recommend the most is SEO for Yoast. This is a free plugin um, and it's pretty amazing. Um, it kind of blows my mind that it's free. The key things that I uh, love to do and why I think it's so awesome is first that it allows you to edit your meta description. So this is when um, your blog post shows up in Google or search engines. It's kind of the little blurb, the title and the little blurb that goes along with your posts. If you don't manually update this yourself, it will just pull the first um, you know, 160 characters or so from your blog post, but you can actually share a sentence or two perfectly summarizing exactly what's in the post. It makes it a lot more appealing for people to click. The plugin also allows you, if you are really into keywords, um, it just will kind of read through your blog post. It will give you some suggestions for where else you want to place those keywords in those key spots, like in the heading, um, in the title of your post, in the slug, in the URL. It will kind of um, just give you some pointers if you want to rank higher for certain keywords, which is really great. And this is huge it sends a little message to Google so that it can start um, sending people to your blog post. Unless you have something like this plugin to communicate to Google and be like, hey, we got something new here, start sending people, um, Google won't know to send people to your website. It will be a little while before it crawls your site and realizes this new post is up. Um, so the Yoast plugin just automatically like sends that little message to Google for you. So that's definitely one if you want to organically grow your traffic and get people coming to your website um, through search engines or even through social media, just having that great meta description really makes a big difference. The third type of plugin that you definitely want to have on your blog posts is a list building plugin. And this is because the most important thing or the most wonderful thing that somebody can do when they come to your blog post from social media, from Google, 
is to sign up for your email list. Otherwise, they can just become one hit wonders and they can read your post and say, wow, that was great. Click and leave and never stumble upon you again. You really want to make it as easy as humanly possible for them to share their email address with you so you can keep communicating with them. Um, a couple free options are first to just look for your email provider. Um, if you're using someone like MailChimp, they have their own plugins that can be really great that you can incorporate into your blog posts and they're free. Another one that I really like is Pop-Up Ally. Um, and this is a great plugin where you can create pop-ups to display on certain pages at certain times um, that are really effective for list building. And there's also a feature where you can create just a little image to put at the bottom of every blog post automatically so that people can sign up for your email list. So those are the three types of plugins you really want to have to get some more mileage out of your blog. There's one that you really don't need that I think a lot of people assume that you do, and that's a related posts plugin. So it's really great when you get to the bottom of a blog post and there's a section to say, essentially like this, then you'll love these, and they've got some more posts at the bottom. And this is, a, this is really great in theory, but the reason I don't recommend it, there are two main reasons. The first is that it can slow down your website speed a lot. I don't fully understand why, <laughs> but when I was redoing my website, my developer, who is like a genius coding wizard and is just incredible, um, we were having some trouble with related post, pl post plugins and they were really just kind of like, it was just kind of mucking up the performance of my website and he shared that there's actually a lot of problems with related post plugins. Um, there's just websites don't really like them. They don't really play well for some reason. Um, so I thought that was interesting and surprising, but he said that it's not uncommon for those types of plugins to just kind of muck up the works. So that's one reason. The second is that they're often not that personalized. A lot of times you'll see the related posts and while the idea is great to say, if you like this post, here's some more information similar, most of those type of plugins don't actually give you similar information. They just pull random posts and throw them in there. Um, so it's really better to personalize it and to actually, okay, you know, if my audience has just, if my reader has just gone through this post, what other questions could they have? What else would they be interested in? What would be helpful next steps for them to take? And to actually include those posts yourself. I have a tool called the Blogsery. If you haven't downloaded it yet, this is a free template I created that makes it super, super, super easy to keep track of all your blog posts um, along with their categories and keywords so that you can just do a simple search, it's a searchable document, and easily find the type of post to go in your related post section. So that's why I don't think it's those related posts plugins are really worth it. They can slow down your computer a lot and they're not even really that helpful or that effective. The number one way to get that great organic sharing and traffic to your site and to get people to sign up for your email list is to have really high quality, captivating blog posts. And I know that that's not something that all solopreneurs and small business owners have the time to do. So if that's you, I would love to talk to you about how we can work together. I am opening up a couple of spots for new blogging clients so that we can start 2017 on the absolute right foot. You can start with strong, compelling, value-packed blog posts that are going to attract people to your website, that are going to build your relationship with your current audience, and that are going to turn those readers into paying customers. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to learn more about, um, go to WhitneyRyan.com slash consult to set up a totally free consult call. This is just where we'll jam for a little bit about how we can work together um, and how I can help you to get those high quality captivating blog posts on your website every single week so that you can really start seeing results from your blogging efforts. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.